The reason I came to SUNY Morrisville was because of the cannabis um, minor. I figured I could go to school and study it, and SUNY Morrisville tour program um, was close to home, and it's you know been perfect. We started with our hemp program, I think it was 2016, and then early 2019, we started growing CBD cannabis in our department. It's kind of propelled from there, where we started growing a crop every summer, and now this year we said, well, let's step it up. There's more to know, more to learn in this industry, so let's teach our students how to extract, because that's just another asset they'll have when they go into the industry, even if coming out with an understanding of how the whole process works it's going to benefit them immensely. It's going to offer plenty of opportunities, uh, you know, from being able to work for the government, maybe testing some of these products, you know, to see what was actually in them, or going through and like actually working at a place and processing such things like this. The Cannabis Studies minor is really the only kind of program like it around. From producing to growing to extracting, cultivation, everything is here. Um, they teach you it all from seed to harvest. We're trying to expand uh, to do pretty much everything that they do in the cannabis industry by teaching them every aspect of it. So like we weren't doing ethanol extractions before, so now we are. We want to move on to teaching them how to do distillation, so that's our next step. Um, and, you know, we're just trying to really be ahead of everything so when they do legalize cannabis fully that we'll be ready to give our students a quality experience. One of the things we are hoping for is to be able to test our own products with a high pressure liquid chromatography machine. And um, that would help, you know, if we want to breed, we can tell exactly what the genetics are of any plant that we grow and then we could test, you know, our CBD oil that we make, it can analyze the entire, the entire product and tell you if there's pesticide residue in it, if there's still solvents from doing the extractions. But right now you have to send out your samples to a lab to get tested and that's pretty expensive. So if we had a testing facility on campus or local that was like a co-op or some type of you know, beneficial testing facility for the cannabis industry that everybody in New York could use, that would help a lot. I believe there's uh, plenty of opportunities because we're hands-on um, growing here. You know, we'll be able to like grow for farmers that may be cultivating cannabis for CBD or hopefully other things in the future. It's only expanding.